Remember how I told you guys that if you don't film it, you don't have it? Well, here it is. <laughs> Your Burger King update of the day. Your scary Burger King update. Why is it scary? Does anybody remember? Because of all the plastic they were using and it's just something to do. looks kind of like post-apocalyptic because it looks kind of like, uh, you know, you guys like battled it out through the night and everybody made it or a few made it and that's that's the morning sky and it's like, it's a new day. Hey guys, off work, happy, oh my gosh, you have no idea, it was a late night. That job that you saw yesterday that I showed you of like my progression, I did more of that today. I basically finished it, blah, 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 I'm not going to bore you with the details. But I stayed late to try and finish it and ended up not. So anyway, long story short, I want birdhouses. And damn it, I will have birdhouses coming. Hell or high water, I'm going to have myself some damn birdhouses. That's the goal after work, birdhouses. So, update. Just like a horse, I'm fed and showered. Don't ask where that came from. I'm just trying to think of something witty to say right now. I got to baby. Hi, baby. And, like I just said, because I've been home for a while now, but I, I said it like to you guys like a couple seconds ago, bird houses going now. And thankfully, Lori Lee went and printed me out coupons. And she was gonna go with me, but she's not feeling too good. I can't move right now, this icy hot patch. So give her your well wishes. She is, She's just like really sore, sore. Even the chiropractor today said that the Muscles have now turned into rebar. <laughs> rebar? That's exactly what the massage therapist said. <laughs> and he, and he's, his muscles are bigger than his head, and he's having a hard time working my my whiplash up in my upper back. Is that how you feel about that, too? Uh, look, guys, he's in his Christmas outfit. This thing is just, like, growing with him. It's it's really weird. He's <laughs> getting the last couple of uses on him. Yeah, before he gets too big for it. Anyway, okay, off to the stove. Yo. Wait, I don't speak Walmart. What am I saying? I'm off to the store. I told you guys that you like me having LEDs in my truck so that you can see me when I'm vlogging at night and driving. I'm off to Michael's right now, and I'm a lot happy about doing this because even though the birdhouses aren't like the haunted house build related, there's still gonna be something that we can do every single day so that you guys get to see something hunt related being achieved every single day. I'm about ready to hit the main road. I have to turn the light out. There's a reason why I'm all like, oh my gosh, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. It's because they close at nine o'clock and it's like almost 8.40. I make a lot of Jeff Dunham references, don't I? Welcome to Michael's. Get your and get out. Have you ever seen anybody drive reckless just to get to Michael's? That's kind of crazy and I turn my lights off and that turned on, that's weird. My truck is haunted. And by the way, Steve, I am proudly representing Steve's haunted yard. Oh my gosh, look at all the different birdhouses. Oh, so many to choose from. Look at this one down here though. This one here is cool. I really like this one. This is one of the more expensive ones though. This one here looks like a mansion. So I'm making my selection carefully. And if it goes over well, what do you guys think about like a Davies Jones locker? I am so happy I have made my birdhouse selections and one of them is almost like a freaking mansion. So it's gonna be really cool. I'm really excited about this project and I'll show you when I get home the birdhouses and whatnot. I'm just so excited I had to share it with you guys. Introducing your 2013 haunted birdhouse lineup. We have this one, which is your plain Jane model. No windows, single hole, single peg. We have this one but it has two openings in it, which is kind of interesting that it houses two birds and yet it's smaller than this, so it must be like the bigger economy model. Think houses and realty. <laughs> and then we've got this. This one here, which is really cool. And then we have the piece de resistance, the haunted mansion. Look at that. Freaking awesome. So it's got like, Big bird and zombie bird. 
and look, even the little doors open in it. Urgh. See? Isn't that cute? So it's time to like haunt it up birdhouse style. Are you ready for some birdhouse haunting? If I ever get a chance, <laughs> I'll try. Oh, I almost forgot, guys. I found these down there too. These are regular buttons for like shirts and stuff. But I found a Halloween mix, and I thought that some of the pumpkins and maybe the uh, corn up against the side of the house might look kind of cool. Yay! Halloween! I love it. Even though it's almost Easter. I should have gotten an Easter bunny and made it like a zombie bunny. <sighs> Before I forget, which I've already forgotten twice, um, but it's up on my screen right now, so I want to make sure that I did it like right now so I don't like totally space it off. Uh, Spirit Halloween Store, just to let you guys know, they're offering free shipping on orders over $60 with promo code SPRING12. And this goes through the 2nd of April. So, just giving you guys a heads up. Alright, Hellions. 52 subscribers left until the end of this contest. So, I want to make myself a note. Tomorrow, I'm going to go over, like, contest details. Um, another item that's being added to the contest winnings. So, really exciting stuff. So make sure to tune in tomorrow for the contest update vlog. <laughs> what you doing? They don't put enough purple runts in the runts box. They don't put enough bananas in the runts box. So you like the bananas. I love the bananas. I like the purple. Here, you guys want to share? Here. Worry the lead, don't share runts. Yeah. Alright guys. Uh, Facebook question of the day for the 26th of March 2013. Do you feel that men and women like to haunt equally? Why or why not? What do you think the percentages are? Scott Shear said, Men seem more focused on gore and shock, while women seem more into creepy and psychological scares. Of course, that's a generalization. Well, that generalization got you four likes yesterday, so congratulations on that, and I would ask your opinion on that same question. Well, you, like, into the haunting aspect of it where well, like the building and the creepiness i just want to see some blood and gore so rip them up kill them up kill shit you know murder <laughs> yeah kill. Yeah. Kill, kill murder you know house of a thousand corpses shit that's what i like to see i don't like to see girly shit i want to see them eaten up and, and that's why them. troy is sleeping with his eyes open tonight <laughs> <laughs> i want to see them all die girl yeah. only six comments on cock tonight so it's going to be a short cock that's what she said. I woke a nightmare. It's cool that you're paying close attention to detail for the haunt with the exit signs. Most people wouldn't think of using them. I'm working on props once again, so hopefully I'll have a video soon. That is awesome. And yes, it's all about the details. And it's about safety, too. And if we're going to go pro, then we have to plan for that. So I figure the more that we implement now, the less we'll have to implement later. Biohazard Customs. I completely understand about... Yawning when work is mentioned. I yawn when anyone mentions work. Uh, work. <sighs> I just made half of you guys yawn, huh? Just because you don't have a job doesn't mean you don't work. Because I tell you what, you know, full time mom. That's a job. Two kids. It's a freaking hard job. All day long was appointment after appointment after appointment. Cleaning, cooking. Oh my god, it just never ends. Squeak. Kali agrees with you. Right, Kali? Mr. Trav272. Wow, lol. And I would like to pre order a shot glass for this 2013. Um, awesome. I'm going to go over, I'll go over this again tomorrow, but uh, just really quickly. Um, the new Hellmouth shot glass for this year, the ballpoint pen, and the laser pen 8 gig USB with all the haunt videos on it. Um, if you guys wanted to uh, pre order, you're absolutely able and you know, you can do so. Uh, send send it via PayPal, Halloween Hellmouth at yahoo.com. Um, the shot glass is $5 and $5 to ship it. The pen is a dollar with $2 shipping. And the laser pen, 8 gig uh, USB with all the scary haunt videos on it is $20, $3 shipping. And I did get noticed, I don't know what it is, but two of these items have already shipped, so they should be here in a week. Alan Main, if I had problems with that sign, I would 
just use LEDs powered by batteries. Also, it would be rainproof, just an idea. Um, well, yeah, the LEDs are already in it, and I'm sure that I could throw LEDs in the other ones. Do you have any ideas about the signs? Or any comments about the signs? Well, if the wiring doesn't work, why can't you just put um, something that glows inside it? <laughs> what? You know, guys, how everybody's been putting up the equal sign for equality in marriage? On Facebook, right? Everybody's been switching their pr f profile to that uh -huh. because they want equality for gays for marriage, which I'm all for. Because me and Troy, are like, we've been married, and we don't ever want to be married again to anyone. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, if the gays want to get married, anybody else wants to get married, let them. Let them be miserable. <laughs> if they all want to get married to each other, do it. It could be miserable just the same as anybody else. And I just saw, I just found this meme. Can you read it? It's it's the grumpy cat holding up the little um, equality sign. Just in case they can't read it, read it to us. Everyone has the equal right to be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Daniel. Um, be busy, but on my free time, I can try to come up with a harmonica song slash cover of Roseanne and send either an email address to send a recording to. Dude, that would be so awesome. I mean, it obviously can't be the same thing as Roseanne because that's copywritten, um, but something kind of close to that. That would be so cool because Lori Lee actually came up with the idea of us doing like around the table and everything. I just think that'd be really cool for like an intro to the vlog. It would be cool um, at the, maybe even to start it out and then you do your little blah, 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 blah. And then the Halloween Hell Mouth intro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that would be pretty cool to have like, um, you, me and Keith, or, or if me and me wanted to do it in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. you know, like around the table and maybe a couple other people in there that's helped out along the way. Ooh, Travis too. That'd yeah, be cool. Travis. I was thinking of Travis. You know, just sitting around with a bunch of like, like pizza and Chinese food on the table. So. <laughs> what? You know how Roseanne laughs. Oh at the yeah. yeah. Fuses are fun. Can you make a sample birdhouse even better? We're gonna make real ones. Not samples. Alright, so say happy haunting, good night. Happy haunting, good night. Oh my god, I just found a picture for you. But it's from No Hope for the Human Race. It's a squirrel with nuts in its mouth. I don't know who the person on the bottom is, though. Who's the person on the bottom? Why is there a person on the bottom? I don't know. I like the squirrel. The squirrel has nuts in its mouth. There's a girl on the bottom that says L O L N O O B. Laugh out loud, noob. Noob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the girl is, and I don't know why it says that. Yeah. But I thought the squirrel with the big nut in his mouth was funny. <laughs> Alright guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Sit, popcorn, sit. Good girl.